Hi hello welcome back so today we will be seeing about muscular system anatomy and physiology before that you can just check all the playlist in the anatomy system playlist i have added all the systems so that you can go through it if you are really preparing for your medical coding interview so the points are uh, very easily understandable and very simple uh, points so that you can easily remember it and you can say at the time of your interviews so don't forget to um, check the playlist hereby i'll add up the i card also so that you can go through it so whenever you're talking about uh, this muscular system you have to start with the functions not only muscular system about any system you have to start with the functions okay so first we'll see like what are muscles muscles is a soft tissue found in both animals and humans the cells of the muscle comprises of protein filaments of actin and myosin that slide past one another which produces contraction and changes both the length and shape of the cell the human muscular system includes more than 600 muscles which make up up to 50 to uh, 40 to 50 percentage of the total body weight the muscles are attached to the bones blood vessels and other internal organs of our body and are mainly composed of skeletal muscles tissue tendons and nerves the muscles of the human uh, body are composed of a kind of elastic tissue so next comes what are the functions of muscle the main functions of muscles are locomotion that is the movement next one is maintaining and changing body posture third one is circulation of blood cells throughout the body fourth one is movement of internal organs such as the contraction of the heart and the movement of the food through the digestive system via peristalsis so hereby i have added uh, four functions you can google and check if you are finding out any other points also you can add up and you can say like starting from two to three points you can extend up to ten uh, points also you can say about the functions if four is enough you can go with it otherwise you can add uh, your points by referring into other books or google or anything next comes anatomy of muscles in anatomy of muscles we have three types of muscle tissue that is visceral cardiac and skeletal muscle when it comes to the visceral muscle visceral muscle is found inside the organs like small intestine and blood vessels so as i said visceral muscles are found um, inside the organs like stomach intestine and blood vessels the weakest of all the muscle tissue visceral muscles makes organ contract to move substances through the organ because visceral muscle is controlled by unconscious part of the brain it is known as involuntary muscle it cannot be directly controlled by the conscious mind the term smooth muscles is often used to describe the visceral muscle because it is very smooth uniform appears when viewed under a microscope and then comes the cardiac muscle Cardiac muscle is found only inside the heart. Cardiac muscle is responsible for pumping blood throughout the body. Cardiac muscle tissue cannot be controlled consciously, so it is involuntary muscle. While, um, while hormones and signals from the brain adjust the rate of contraction, cardiac muscle stimulate itself to contract. The natural pacemaker of the heart is made up of cardiac muscle tissue that stimulate other cardiac muscle cells to the contraction because of the uh, self-stimulation. Cardiac muscle is considered to be autorhythmic or intrinsically controlled. The cells of the cardiac muscle tissue are striated that is they appear to have light and dark stripes while viewed under the microscope. Next comes the functions of cardiac muscle. The main function of cardiac muscle is to regulate um, the function of the heart by relaxation and contraction of the heart muscle. Other functions of cardiac muscle include cardiac muscle functions are involuntary in nature. Next cardiac muscles are also involved in the movement or the locomotion. The cardiac muscles work without stopping day and night. They work automatically and make the heart contract so that the heart can squeeze the blood vessels and release them so that the heart can fill up the blood again. The heart comprises a specialized type of cardiac tissue which consists of pacemaker cell. These contract and expand in response to electrical impulses from the nervous system so these are the functions of cardiac muscles
next comes skeletal muscle skeletal muscle is the only voluntary muscle tissue in the human body it is controlled consciously even physical action that a person consciously performs like speaking walking writing requires skeletal muscles the functions of uh, skeletal muscle is to contract to move the parts of the body closer to the bone that the muscle is attached to most skeletal muscles are attached to two bones across the joint so that the muscle serves to be a part of those bones closer to each other skeletal muscle derives its name from the fact that these muscle always connect to the skeleton at one place next we will see the functions of uh, skeletal muscles So the functions of uh, skeletal muscle is it maintains body posture, it regulates body temperature, it connects to control motion of the skeleton, it is responsible for performing muscular involuntary movement, it is responsible for body movements such as breathing, extending the arm, typing, writing etc. It is responsible for erect posture of the body. Um, next to the skeletal muscles protects the internal organ and tissues from any injury and also provide uh, support to these delicate organ and tissue these also support the entry and exit point of the body for example around the mouth around the urinary tract around the anus i have given how it is working so that you can see for example around the mouth the, these muscles reduce the size of the opening by contraction of the muscles and facilitate the swallowing of the food if it is urinary tract you can see the contraction happens while passing the urine now that is done type of muscle disorders like uh, first one is myopathies example polymyositis dermatomyositis etc next is muscle cramp prolonged painful involuntary contraction of skeletal muscle next is fibrositis inflammation of fibrous connective tissue in the muscle it also affect the muscle of the trunk and the back myasthenia gravis rhabdomyolysis cardiac myopathy amelotrophic lateral sclerosis and sarcopenia sarcopenia is a muscle disease that can be primary or secondary sarcopenia causes muscle mass loss and muscle strength loss so these are the eight uh, muscle disorders and uh, that's all about this video thank you so much for watching my video if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and if you have any queries you can post it as a comment also thank you so much for watching and uh, wish you all the best for your interview take care